Hi, and welcome back to Carolina Week. I'm weather forecaster Laura Pagano. Well, one of our top headlines, as everybody knows, it is bone dry outside. And we'll be lucky if we see any precipitation coming out of any systems heading our way. But we do see some pleasant temperatures and trouble in the tropics. Well, we may see some type of a situation in Florida that may be impacting the Gulf Coast. But let me first take a look at September and wrapping that month up as we're heading into October. Where are we at? Well, the average temperature for September this month was, or last month I should say, was 84 degrees. But for the 45-year average, we were around 80, So, which means that we're slightly above average. And the average low temperature for last month was 62. But precipitation, that's the big one. We see that the monthly total was around 2 inches. But we usually see that September will hold around a little above 4 inches, which basically means we haven't seen much precipitation. We only had one day of substantial precipitation in our area. So over the next couple of months, we definitely need to see some type of weather system that brings a lot more moisture. So taking a look at the tropics, and there's that situation I was talking about across Florida. And this will make its way towards the southwest, and when it does so, it will bring with it a circulation that's increasing in not only wind, but then increasing in precipitation when it's over that warm water. So we could see something forming, which could hit the Gulf Coast region and then hopefully head towards our region. But as you can see, these tropical developments have, have actually just deteriorated by wind shear, which means that it's just been blown apart. So nothing out in the Atlantic. But taking a look at the U.S., and we see that there's a low pressure system towards our northwest right over the lakes. And as time progresses, we'll see this move towards the northeast. And it kind of drapes down a little bit. We see precipitation in our area in, this, um, in the south, southwest, actually. But as it makes its way towards the east, we have a very high ridge of pressure that is just not going to be moving in the next few days. So which means that we're going to be staying predominantly dry and then towards the south you can see that precipitation and it's going to be making its way towards the west. So taking a look at the surface map as we progress over the next couple of days we'll see this low pressure system make its way towards the north and then we'll be then we'll be seeing that it's going to be predominantly dry. So for the four day forecast we're really not seeing anything in the way of precipitation at least for the next week or so, those temperatures are going to be increasing. And so I'm sorry to say it's just going to keep being dry and really no precipitation. It's kind of sad. Wow, we really need that rain, uh, we especially do. looking at uh, Catherine out there in the lake. That was just depressing. I know, it really was. So hopefully over the next maybe two weeks. All right, Laura, thanks. Well. It's not often that regular citizens get to play scientist, but Saturday they coupled with professionals for a 24-hour bio blitz. The event joined local families with scientists and natural historians to inventory plant and animal, animal life on the 300-acre Mason Farm Biological Reserve. Teams split up and used professional tools to identify and count specimens, including butterflies and spiders. BioBlitz organizer Shelley Rogers says the program let people explore their environment. We thought it would be nice to focus the attention on this area because it has its own unique mm -hmm. biological diversity. The species here are incredibly diverse and we wanted people to be interested in their own backyards. Organizers will make a species list to see how the biodiversity changes with time. And now we're joined by sportscaster Sarah Moore. Sarah, I hate to say this, but another football loss over the weekend. Well, and we lost a player Saturday, uh, de senior defensive back Kendrick Williams tore his ACL, hmm. and he'll be out for the rest of the season. Oh, good news. Coming up in sports, the football team continues to struggle. We'll show you the highlights and the lowlights of Saturday's loss in Blacksburg. <laughs> 